Alright, so we are back in the capital, Longbow Hall, where myself, Lord Erlon, a five-year-old child, is ruling our region here, which encompasses the whole of Eastweald. So we've got Oakcliff and Old Anchor as our vassals. Our mother is trying to make a claim on Snakewood. We already have one against Heart's Home, but in order to press it, we have to declare war against King Robert. Or Sweet Robin, as he's more affectionately known. If we do that, we would be crushed. So something really needs to happen. We need to try and take everything at the same time. We need to gain ourselves a decent alliance, so let's start having a look at potential patrols. And we want to try and split the veil, so we'll need someone local. As you can see, there are strong, strong alliances outside of the veil, Blackwoods for one. However, within the veil, we are very limited indeed. Um, we have Alanis. That's not very good. Who else have we got? I like the idea of a of a Tali, you know. She is a bastard though. But it would get us an alliance with Randall Tali. Now is he too far away to make any sort of impact? That is the question when we're talking about this. Surely. Well, I'll not be joining the fray, I'll tell you that now. There's one there. There is another system. Um Systemen won't provide too much assistance and as we discussed previously one of them has just married and become queen of the mountain and vale so they won't be backing us at all so let's have a look oh I didn't notice that Titus Blackwood has control here So what daughter is it? Oh, it's his only daughter, Bethany. That is potentially very good. We'll have to uh, have a ponder on that. Um, Bethany Blackwood, to betroth or not to betroth, or is there someone else we could possibly get? I'm not too sure. Oh, she's in war again. And it is against King Robert. So it's the war of Veilman independence once more. And we have turned against our, uh, our king. It's not so much our king. He is pretty much uh, the king of this man here. Right, so it started. Let's have a quick look, see if anyone else has joined. Uh, no. <laughs> right, so we are pretty much on our own here right now. Good news is, there's already some of the uh, King's Force, uh, sorry, Queen's Forces here already. Which is great for us. Tywin is plugging away. Tommen Lannister is the heir. Hmm. See, that's the problem. I would get no alliance from the marriage, but he would marry her. Ah, can't do it. Alright, so Marjorie's going to decide my educational future. What's she going to pick? A life at court. Okay, Marjorie. Um, after trusting your judgement at that one, it makes us a more even character, I suppose. And I am quick, so hopefully I'll be able to pick up a few things. Now, my sister and actually get an alliance for us with the Starks and it's more particularly with Rick on Stark so we're gonna go ahead and do that so good old Rick and Stark is gonna be betrothed to my sister so that's gonna get us uh, hopefully a nice sturdy relationship there hopefully they'll forget that uh, we sided against them in a previous war Religious differences, so it's not too much that's getting in the way of us. We are of similar age, I say that. He is older than me. 
It's just a shame there isn't particularly good ones. I mean, Bethany is probably the best we're going to get right now. I kind of want to hold on to it for a little bit longer. I'll wait till we're about six and see if we can get anything better. So who's joined who? Well, the Vale are on their own. After this war, they should be pretty much decimated and then it might be time for us to make our move against Hart's home. Currently they're just being chased down here. Army of Sir Jaden. Now I'm not going to make a move <laughs> against these until I have sufficient coin in the bank to hire some mercenaries if I do indeed to take it all as fast as I can. Some significant battles are being waged. Um, New Keep, that is going to fall first. Snakewood is a, the site of a battle. So Sandor, he's, uh, he's running off a little bit. Can we intercept these guys? 202 troops. We don't really have enough people. So let's get training troops again back in Longbow Hall. And we need to see about something else. I'm still worried about the fact that my mother might get wed and leave my court because she's got, she wants to marry a ruler. So we're in a bit of trouble because if she goes, we're going to be stuck with one of my uncles as a regent and he's not going to allow us to do anything. So how do we get her to marry a ruler? So. That's Lord John of Old Arbor. He's only five. I doubt my mother will marry a five-year-old. <laughs> and Upcliff, we have Owen of Upcliff. So we don't even have, we can't really strip anyone of any lands to give it to uh, someone that she might marry. She doesn't want to marry Guston, unfortunately, because that would be my choice. However, we can make a marriage for him while we're looking at things, so he's got excellent martial, excellent stewardship and learning, so what have we got? Not too much. We'll leave him for now. Let's focus on the war, try and get our plan in place. No one's attacking these people here, and we're certainly not going to be doing it right now. One of these armies is going to have to take care of it. My liege, I write to you with bad news from Lombard Hall. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance and the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we might have a revolt on our hands soon. Right, well that's not going to happen. So number one, stop collecting taxes. Um, and we want to pacify the province. So Giles, do your best. Some northern men are finally coming down, army of Lords Clay amongst others. Um, yeah, this isn't going to last for long. Now this might be quite interesting because if Shireen wins it, they'll fall back under her domain. Might make it easier for us to progress in the future because right now, our biggest barrier is the fact that we're not their vassal. So here they are, they are fighting, they've got a plus modifier, we're going to jump in and just help these guys out a little bit, Owen you won't lead them, we will send in Eustace, my uncle. If he dies, it's good, if we win, it's good, so that one's a win-win. Oh they're running. So it doesn't look like we were needed there, oh well, maybe next time Eustace. And look who's arrived late to the party. The Westerlands. And they've only brought, you know, a couple of men with them. Bloody hell, they are very strong. 
So what we have to uh, keep an eye on, well nothing's actually happened yet, I'm surprised about that, because I thought, oh one second, I thought that a move would have been made for Harold Aaron to become uh, to become King of the Mountain Veil, vale, but no one's actually started a faction for it yet. He's yet to be betrothed as well. Let's speed things up here, otherwise we're just going to be watching a lot of people running about. There are so many sieges going on right now. Um, I never want to get on the wrong side of our Queen. Our Queen obviously loves us. We've joined her war that many times to support her. Uh, however, she could do with giving us a title, but you never know, maybe in the future. Ah, what's this? So, it's come time to educate ourselves. Now, all of this will have to be passed by my mother. Let's see who's got the best marshal. Of course, it's Randall Tarley. So we can go, well, we can try and go to Randall Tarley and see. Let me just check. There's Balance Swan, Palm and Crane. Or even educated by a giant. What do you think, eh? Let's try Randall. No, base reluctance. So Randall will not take us on. That's fine. What we're going to do then is we're going to keep everything in-house. By that, I mean Gustin. Gustin isn't too bad. So I think he's going to be okay for us. So we'll give it to Gustin. And as a reward for it, let's get Gustin a wife. Good old Gustin, let's try and find you someone, someone pretty. Well Gustin, you are shit out of luck, none of these women are pretty. Uh, I can find you someone who's kind. But she's 38 mate, yeah you don't want that. And there's uh, Cecile. She's charitable, single, envious and honest. And there's Elaine. Oh no, Alyssa, sorry. I don't know where I got Elaine from. Um, So we'll go ahead and marry you to... Uh, let's do Cecile. See if Cecile will come over. She will indeed. Okay. Lady Brienne the Maid is the Lady of Tarth and she's agreed to this. So Cecile Dandarian has arrived at our court. Excellent Cecile. Well I've got nothing for you to do except produce babies. So if you can get on with that I would be uh I'd be grateful. So speeding things up once again we can see that Vardis has arrived at our court. Vardis is uh well, he looks like a maester. Did we not have a maester? Yes we do. We've got a very good maester, so we're not going to bother with that. Harlan Hunter. Oh, I don't know. don't like that. He hates us, and he's in a position of power. Why did I not notice that? Um, we'll give it to Justin. You can take that position right now. He's not going to be very good, but he's going to be better than having an enemy there. Oh, I've gained a trait, Ambitious. That's a really good trait for me to have, so I'm happy I've got that. Um, so, six years old. Um, let's get the betrothal sorted. We can't really stall anymore. I'm still thinking Bethany Blackwood is our, our best option. There's Lara of Tarth. So we regret Tarth for the Blackwoods. Blackwoods are still in command there. Where is Tarth? There we go. He can get us 4,000 men easily. The Blackwoods should be able to get similar sort of amounts with the immediate holdings. It just depends 
how many they can call up. Let's have a quick look. So they've got eight vassals all in all. With the Rivelands being split as it is, they can't get too much more. I'm going to go with Lara. Lara Tarth. Similar in age, even statistics, and she's just as well. So we'll go with Lara. Uh, thankfully, my mum has said, yes, that's okay. So, uh, And so has Lady Brienne. So thank you very much, Brienne. Here we go. So one children lack a guardian, it is Pia Hunter, who is my cousin. So Pia, who is going to educate you? And um, we're going to stick you with, we'll stick you with Marjorie. Now don't ask me why this war isn't over yet. Um, I believe it must be a war of attrition. Uh oh. Do not die young. My nose is running and my head feels as if someone's banging something hard against it, so I'm ill. Uh oh. Rob Stark has become first raider to Rickon Stark? What's happened to Rickon? Where are you Rickon? Uh oh. So, the betrothal has gone tits up. Because it looks like the Starks are losing out. I don't know whether to break that betrothal or not. We'll keep it for now, but we'll have to uh, keep an eye out. Look how many armies are there, are there from beyond the wall. They are so powerful. But that's not the armies we're concerned with right now. It is what's going on here. So, how many have we got? One, two... Three, four, five, six. About six sieges going on right now in the Vale. With a war score of 55%. Obviously not going to be in favour of uh, Sweet Robin. Master Willamen has been tutoring me these past few months and has been a good teacher. I feel like I know so much more. That's great, so that's too intrigue. Now, Axel Florent the King has died. So here he is, Master Williamson. Very good. However, how did I never notice that he used to be a Frey? I say used to be because when you join the Citadel you give up your surname. I'm alive. Excellent. So the mace that is proving to be okay, he's uh, managed to cure me and he's taught me a little bit as well, which is always going to be handy when I'm a six-year-old growing up in a war-torn country such as the Vale. Who's the queen going to marry? Bloody Gates has been passed on. She's already married. That was really quick. Brandon of the Iron Throne. She's only gone and married Bran Stark. Wow. And they have a son already? What? No. I thought that was a bit quick. Uh, he's, got, he's got a son by uh, Jolly Marister, who died under suspicious circumstances. So, intriguing King's Landing. There's a shocker for you.